Hello and welcome back. This is going to be the second part of the final exam review. So let's get started. So again, we have a problem here with the word equivalent. So equivalent means you put the problem in the calculator. So here we have two, 7x plus 2. It's always best to change the, the variable to x. So to avoid any complication because the, the calculator will use better the letter x than any other letter. So here I'm using letter X instead of N. So once I have that, I have this equation right there, this graph. And I can press the house here so I can take a better look at it. All right. And then I'm going to try to enter the multiple choices. So X cubed plus 27 X squared plus 7x minus 3. And if you notice right there, that produced me the wrong graph. So I know the first multiple choice is wrong. So let's try, try to change that to 56, this to 65, this to negative 7, and this to negative 6. And look at that. Second try, we got a match. So right there, letter B is the answer. Very good. Next one, it says, what is the domain of this quadratic? Please remember, quadratics is always all real numbers. So letter A will be the answer. Next one, it says, what is the equation in the slope of the line on the graph? Well, I see a vertical line. A vertical line means that it's going to be X by itself. So I'll go ahead and eliminate letter B. And D. And anytime you have a line that is vertical, that's undefined. So right there we have x equals 3 and the slope is undefined. So letter C is our answer. Next one is like the um the zombie question where you make two points, so negative seven, comma, negative twenty-three. Basically, you want a line that passes through those two points. So right there, we draw our two zombies, okay? And if you cannot see the zombies, press the little house or, there we go, we can see it. All right, and in order to use these equations, we need to make sure the y is alone. So the y is not alone, so what we're gonna do is gonna send the one to the other side. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy y equals two parentheses x minus five and if I move the one to the other side, it becomes negative one. And hopefully, that will be the one. Well, if you notice, it did not touch the two points. So it's not that equation. So let's try this one. This one, if I move the one to the other side, it becomes positive one. Let's see if it passes through. And it did. So that is the answer. Letter B. Let's see. Letter B. All right. So please remember. Okay, you need to make sure the Y is alone. So computer will be able to work. All right, the problem says to find the rate of change. The rate of change is slope, okay? So let me pull out my scratch paper here. Let me clear things out here so I have space. And because I have a table, I have many values, and I don't like to deal with um, decimals, so I'm gonna choose the 0.35 because they're whole numbers. And I'm going to choose 6, 1. These are really nice numbers, not a negative in sight. So now I'll be able to label x1, y1, x2, y2. And if you remember the formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 1 minus what is y1 is 5 over who's x2 6 minus who's x1 3 so 1 minus 5 is negative 4 6 minus 3 is 3 so this would be negative 4 thirds which is letter b here we go number 5 is a system of equations and is asking for it to find the value of x so what we're going to do is first of all we're going to let's go ahead and clear this out here so we have some space. 
And the first equation, there's a little bit of work that I need to do. And that work is that I need to get the y alone. So 11x minus 7y equals 8. Get the y. y alone, I'm going to move the 11x to the other side. So this will be negative 7y equals negative 11x plus 8. We divide both sides by negative 7. So this will be y equals 11 over 7x. And this will be negative 8 sevenths. So right there, I have one y that, so right there, I have one y that is alone. So what we're going to do is, in a second here, let me move this to the side here. And let's go ahead and clear this out. And let's enter this equation. Y equals 11 over 7. Arrow to the right, x minus 8 over 7. So that's my first line. And the second line, notice right there, this is the this was the first line that I got the y alone. This is the second line. So let's click right there. Y equals negative 5x minus 34. Now that we have that, we notice the two lines cross each other, and the answer is negative 5, negative 9. But notice that we're looking for the value of x. So the value of x is 8, negative 5. Here we go. Very good. Next one is to find the range. The range is when you use a horizontal line. And you go from bottom up. So the first place I touch is negative 3 with a dash. So it kind of matches this one right here. And the last place I touch is 6 without a dash because it's empty. So right there is letter C. Notice in this problem, when you first started, because we're looking for the range, you could eliminate letter A and B because they both have X's and we're looking for the range, which is Y value. All right, next problem is the axis symmetry. Axis symmetry always starts with X, so I know I can eliminate letter C. Axis symmetry is the line that goes right in the middle of the parabola, which is right here, which is X equals 3, so letter V. All right. Next problem is another equation. If you remember the first problem in the review, part one was an equation, and all you did is <clears throat> set the y equals to the left side. Okay, and I'm going to change that n to an x just to make sure everything works smoothly. So right there. And then on the other side, it's going to be y equals. 39x plus 171. Okay, and now that I have written both of them, I'm going to press the little house here, and let's see if I can see the two lines. I see one of the lines, but I still don't see, okay, I see two lines right now, and I notice that they're going to cross somewhere over here on the very top, so I'm moving closer, and once I move closer, I can click it, and right there I found the point to be 19,912. Okay. And um, which problem was I? Let's see here. I'm right here. The problem says, what is the value of n? If you remember, we changed n to be x. So there's no doubt that the answer is 19, the letter A. Very good. Let's go on to the next problem. Let's move here. I have two more problems to go. The next question is, what is domain? Domain is the value of x. So go ahead and eliminate letter C and D because they both have y. So we want the value of x. To find x, you can imagine your pencil on the vertical. And as you move from the left to the right, first place you touch is negative 4. So notice that is a solid point. So it will be with a dash. So right there, we already know that it's going to be letter B. Just to be sure, the last place we touch is positive 2 without a dash because the point is empty. And the last problem is to find the slope. So right there, we're going to need the scratch paper. So I'm going to pull out my scratch paper again. And let me clear some space here. So we need to erase this problem that we solved. 
And in order to find slope, you need to have two very good points. And I'm going to choose the first two. Doesn't matter what points you choose. I don't like to work with decimals, so let's work with these. So this would be negative 5, comma, this is 16. And let's label x1, y1, x2, y2. And the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, y2 is 16 minus 32. Whoops, not 36, 32. And on the bottom, negative 5 minus minus 25. Because remember, one negative comes from the formula and one comes with the 25 that it has a negative. So on the top, this would be negative 16. On the bottom, this will be negative 5. Negative, negative 25 will be positive 20. Okay, and if we reduce this, this will be negative four fifths. So right there, we notice that the answer will be letter A. And there we go. This completes the final exam review. So now you should be ready to take the final exam and good luck. Thank you very much. Hope this video was helpful. Bye-bye.